Well, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, what I'm going to present is uh, some discussion that we have inside of Document Foundation about the way that uh, we should uh, handle all the documentation. Uh, LibreOffice is a complex application from the user point of view, and um, we, we absolutely need to have uh, a lot of documentation and uh, all the uh, offers that we have so far are documentation in the several formats, a lot of overlap, some, uh, uh, a lot of work in terms of formatting, and uh, from the user point of view, quite a lot of dispersion in terms of uh, uh, contents and, and documentation. So essentially, um, what we expect to be the almost perfect documentation is a small uh, pitch on a movie that uh, tells, tells us in the user point of view what is the ideal documentation. So basically, yes. you remember this uh, scene? So this is the ideal documentation. I really would like to do that the same with pilot uh, tables, with styles, with uh, paginating, you know. This is the best thing that I could imagine, and that's the, the dream and the vision that I want to, to, to bring here. So essentially, if I could just press a set of commands and download all the information in my mind, that is the, the good one, okay? So essentially, from the user point of view, what is what we want? We, we need documentation. This is, like I said, it's a complex, document, a complex application. Uh, it's something that people really like. The people like documentation. Uh, in terms of a community, documentation is perceived to be uh, one of the easiest way to join a project, uh, an uh, um, open source project. Uh, people want to help. People like to be part of the team. This is something that I, I received, I perceived in some, in some cultures. People like to be part of a team and contribute, so it's a good opportunity for them. They like to feel responsible. And documentation is a very good start because it's perceived to be quite easy to jump in. Okay? So the problem is that we have a hard work which is uh, the documentation costs times and resources. Whoever tried to write a chapter on a specific feature of LibreOffice, for example, is going to spend quite a lot of time. It's an extensive job because uh, it, uh, it, you, have to, you have some rules to how to write. You need to be concise. You need to be precise. And uh, it's not just... Uh, uh, describing a set of commands. Okay, it's a never-ending job because features get improved, uh, behavior of the software changes, so it's a never-ending. You need to update the documentation, and of course, you have national language requirements, which means that all this documentation ideally should be translated into as many languages as possible. Okay, so and also. We have multiple targets. Uh, so far, what we have, it's too many, too many media formats. We have XML formats. We have ODF formats. We have printed formats. We have online formats. And uh, we have, uh, let's say, uh, wikis, uh, help, uh, um, question and answer, such as uh, uh, Stack Overflow, AskBot. So this is quite complex, and it's very hard to contribute. For example, people, uh, we have a set of books that is inherited from the open office time. And uh, what happens is that when you start to update the books, you face all the complexities of the structure of a document, which means 
you can't just type in information. You must be compliant with the styling, uh, the formatting of the, the book, and the styling of the writing. So it's not just come in and start adding <laughs> contents. You must really be part of the team and understand exactly what is styling. Okay, so whoever started to make a book is facing this, all the complexities of the very flexible styling uh, resources that OpenOffice and LibreOffice have. Okay, on help, uh, what we face today is a very old and complex technology. It's an XML uh, format, and this XML is uh, bounding us in terms of the improvements that we can benefit with new technologies that are available in 2017 or 18, like now. Uh, so we started to make a, a vision about that, and we, we would like to converge all these contents into at least one big repository that could, uh, after that, generate all the formats that you want. This is a vision. This is not, I'm not saying that this is maybe a reality, like the other download of the pilot of the helicopter instructions, but it's a vision, okay? So essentially what we have is, we have the literature already available, we have the application help, we have the collaborative editing that we collect in, in the wiki, and we have this collaborative support that we collect in uh, AskBot, which is a, um, an uh, a software close to Stack Overflow. I, I, by the way, don't know whoever can really make some lines of code without looking into Stack Overflow today. It seems to be the holy grail for a lot of uh, coders. And uh, with us, that convergence of content, we want to have not only um, the output in terms of online, but also we want be able to print, and perhaps also to add into this point here, I'll, I just uh, missed it, is the multimedia formats that you also would like to have. So, in a sense, it's one unique and official content source. Why is it official? Because it is important that we be the source for many other kind of industries, for like training industry, publishing industry, and get a an unique and official source of information on LibreOffice. Okay. So the convergence is basically an open community, uh, uh, as open to community as possible. So it has to be easy to join, like. Uh, uh, not only to contribute, but also to, to access, so websites, tab tablets, local desktops. Uh, easy to join in terms of contribution, so not to, be, to have a steep entry barrier for the collaboration. Uh, visible for user, searchable, accessible. Uh, if you use some search tools in, in, with LibreOffice, you will see a lot of uh, information, but it's not very well indexed so far. It has to be better. And of course, if you search for, say, <coughs> pivot tables in Google, probably you ha will have 10 pages of Excel and one on calc in your screen. So it has to be improved in terms of searchability. Good reference for users and developers. Uh, capable to develop and support the migration and training industry. Uh, it has to be also evolutive and versioned, which is also important to keep the same uh, pace of, uh, of the software and connected and synchronized with the software and uh, easy to translate as possible. It's, it's also a very important issue. Uh, we have in LibreOffice, in Apache OpenOffice, we have the help, which is connected, uh, uh, loaded into a translation server, and we have as many as 50 languages uh, actively translated. Okay. 
So based the, some achievements that we did so far, uh, we have moved the help of LibreOffice into a browser, and also we had the help in the, your mobile if you like to take a metro and read the help you can because it's available on your mobile and uh, also we are using a lot of resources that we use uh, that we have with modern browsers so this is the current layout we mimic the the old help so far we have not yet improved the contents because we still have some uh, legacy situations that we must handle but essentially this is the layout that we have okay and also uh, we did some uh, um, work on transforming the books uh, the chapters into an online reading this is basically the HTML export of LibreOffice and I had to do manually some adjustment just to make the layout better for online reading. Okay, so essentially this convergence means that we really would like to have only one repository of information capable of generating the several possible ways of documenting. Uh, if we come back here, we have on this side here, the contents of the current help that we have is also a user guide. So we have a user guide here, and we have books that are user guides. So this is duplication of information, and very often one jumps to the other. Okay. Well, so the road ahead is to define a content plan for this convergence or a curriculum that could be preserved, uh, able to preserve the legacy contents of the current help, preserve and address the translations, include multimedia and rich experience. Uh, a multimedia is far from trivial to generate. Uh, we have a lot of small tutorials in Google, uh, in Google channels, but very often it's too amateur, it's not professional, it's boring. Uh, uh, people want to explain their best, but they don't have the skills for a professional work. So this multimedia is well below um, uh, the quality that is necessary. Okay? And also to unify the contents of the current documentation media such as the help the books the wiki and so on okay so that's it um, i'd like to discuss and i would discuss with perhaps regina and also svante that uh, we need uh, how to address this uh, issue of making a format that can not only be uh, on a doc uh, office document but also on a web document to avoid duplication or to make the bridges between one and the other more easily, okay? And that's, that's my, my talk here. Uh, I think I'm on time. I uh, just want to perhaps to show you what we have so far. Uh, essentially, we have the, this is my uh, situation here. Uh, for example, we have the spreadsheet. Uh, if I open the dialog for uh, format of a cell and I press the help button, then I have my browser with the new help displayed directly from the application. So it will be uh, a matter of time that we could drop all the old help um, and use the browser of, the, of your machine. And uh, with the browser in, in here, then we can insert specific styling or JavaScript to make it much more dynamic than a specific, uh, uh, a specific textual and extremely boring uh, help to read. Okay, that's it. Uh, also, uh, 
just to show you the last one is uh, the transformation or, uh, of the book into a reading online, which the expo export of H, uh, XHML. Uh, I'm sorry for CSS. This is typically a CSS uh, issue. Not to have it it's totally uh, um, well aligned, but if I if I let me see. Okay. Well, it's so if I shrink a little bit of this page, I could have it better displayed. But you know, this is uh, what we have, and we can scroll the contents uh, this way. Okay. So thank you for for your attention. I'm open for questions. Yeah. Yes. Have you reached out to the um, user documentation team? They, I, I, last year they presented how they work with uh, documentation, how they document LibreOffice in a quite deep extent. Who? who? The SUSE? SUSE? Suse. Yeah, no, no, I've not discussed it with him. It's a, it's a yeah, good, good pointer, uh, yes. They have, and they have already summed out all the existing documentation in, on GitHub. Okay, okay. So uh, yes, thanks for the, for the hint. Yeah. Other questions? Okay, so time is up. Um, yes? Well, it's, it's uh, in the very beginning, so it's quite open for uh, definitions. We, there is a lot of um, um, work to do, but es essentially it's absolutely important to have the, def the right definition at the beginning in order to really uh, bring all the legacy contents and have it properly formatted and properly indexed into the convergence. Uh, but we don't have yet all the specifications. Um, it, it, um, we have some ideas, we have some discussions, but it's not yet uh, totally close. So, but we don't want to be static. We are uh, initiated to do these movements in, toward more uh, modern uh, help display and book display in order to evaluate all the potentials that we, we need. Okay, thank you. Yeah.